So the first experience that Michelle Obama had uh, was when she was in elementary school at Bryn Mawr, and it turns out that the substitute teacher uh, was not very respectful or helpful or really trying to teach the students at all, and the students were uh, unruly, but they were unruly for a good reason, and Michelle Obama talks about that. But in any event, um, she told her mother about it, and her mother pulled her out of that class and put her in another class. And she really spoke to how, because her mother was there for her and was an advocate for her, it made such a difference for her and a difference in her trajectory, her, her experience in that school. Uh, and I would say even for myself, when I was in elementary school, it really made a difference by having a teacher, my mother, my, my parents, um, friends, but more so my mom and uh, the teachers there supporting me. If you don't have teachers supporting you, if you don't have your parents supporting you, it can be very challenging and very difficult to get through any kind of educational experience, especially when it's new and especially when you're dealing with uh, issues around race and people underestimating you and assuming you can only do this, but you can't do that. Um, and that was something similar to Michelle Obama that I ran into from time to time going to school. And I ran into that so much that at one point in my life, I wanted to be uh, the superintendent of Chicago Public Schools. But that didn't happen. I ended up doing something else. So that was experience uh, number one. Her mother pulled her out of that class had her placed into another class, and it it made all the difference. Just that act itself put her on a different path and trajectory that the other students who were left in that class and didn't have an advocate, they lost out on so much, and Michelle Obama speaks to that in her book, which was, to me, very touching. 